Ladies and gentlemen, the secret word is food. F-O-O-D. Really? You bet your life. The National Broadcasting Company presents Groucho Marx in the best of Groucho, the comedy quiz show transcribed from Hollywood. And now, here he is, the one, the only... Let's not go overboard. Well, here I am again with a chance for each of our couples to win up to $10,000. And if any of them say the secret word, they'll win an extra 100 bucks. And Groucho will meet our first couple in just a moment. Uh, Joe? Hey, Joe. Now, where in the world did that announcer of mine go? Hey, Joe Slattery? Where in the world are you? Uh, over here, Ed. Oh, oh, Joe, look, uh, tell me, tell the folks about our Red Foley show that's on most of these stations every Saturday, huh? Why, you don't need any help, Red. Just go right ahead. Tell the folks about the way you bring a famous guest star along on every visit with our friends listening in. Mm-hmm, that, that's a good point, Joe. Well, just tell about the way you always answer a listener's request for one of your inspiring songs of faith and devotion. Mm-hmm. I guess it would be good to mention that, too, Joe. And what a bright and happy-humored sort of show it is. Now, you'll want to mention that for sure. Mm-hmm. That's another good point. Uh, see, Red, you didn't need any help after all. <laughs> Friends, you listen for Red Foley and all the gang on the Red Foley Show, Saturdays on most of these stations. We'll be seeing you, folks. Groucho, uh, Giselle Dark, and... Uh, Dan- Giselle's what? <laughs> Her name is Giselle Dark. Oh. And Danny Terrell is standing by to talk to you, so folks, you can please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome to you. Welcome to you, Bet Your Life. Say the secret word and take home an extra 50 smackers. It's a common word, something you see every day. Giselle in the dark and Danny Terrell, eh? Giselle, you're a very attractive girl. So, uh, how old are you, Giselle. Well, you should yes. never ask a girl of 18 years how old she is. Oh. But I am 24. Well, where are you from? Are you from Peoria? Peoria? What is that? Peoria is where they make all that beer. Oh, no, I'm from Paris. You're from Paris? Don't mm-hmm. they make any beer in Paris? Oh, yes, I guess. <laughs> Did you have a job in Paris? Not exactly. I was helping my mother run a restaurant. Oh. Well, were you sophisticated when you left there, or did you leave Paris green? <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite understand what you say. No, well, it's just as well. Nobody understands what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, what did you do in Paris? Well, uh, I was helping my mother. You were helping your mother? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, in the restaurant? Yes. Can you can you cook? <laughs> oh, but yes. Imagine some fellow marrying this girl and then finding out six months later that she's also a good cook. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, let's see. You're, uh, you're Danny Turrell, huh? Uh, Terrell Groucho. Terrell? Yes. What did I say, Terrell? Terrell. How long have you been, Danny Terrell? Oh, quite a while now. Mm-hmm. And, and, and where do you, where do you be f- uh, from? <laughs> uh, do you really want to know? Uh, sure, and I do, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Belfast, Ireland, Groucho. And now you know. <laughs> Are you married, Danny? Oh, yes. <laughs> How, how'd you meet your wife? Uh, she was in the back of a pop truck. She was in a pop truck? Yeah. You know, like, you know the little pop truck, I, I think... The pop truck? Co- you'd call the coffee wagon here. Mm-hmm. And she was in the back of the pop truck. I guess she was getting pop for herself. Mm. Now, do you have any wee ones? Well, do you have any little folk? Now, what do we meant to tell you how I met my wife? What? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a fine idea. <laughs> I think if you're going to talk about little ones, you should always talk about your wife. Um, I hadn't really met her to this time, you see, no. so I said, do you know what, um, I know this is neither the time nor the place, but do you think I could have the pleasure of your company to a show sometime? Well, that was very nice. No, wasn't it? Yes, I'm and, sure it was. <laughs> and she says, well, I don't mind. So says I, right, I'll pick you up at eight o'clock tonight. So she says, all right, but I still don't know your name. So we introduced ourselves. And lo and behold, the way we went from there. Where did you go from there? <laughs> well, we have one little boy now. Oh, well, that's nice. What's his name? <laughs> Patrick? <laughs> Do 
Do you have a job, Danny boy? I'd like to become a singer, Groucho. A That's singer? It. Yes, Groucho. What kind of singing do you do? I'm Irish tenor, Groucho. Really? Yes. I thought you were a Swedish baritone. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give us a few bars of an Irish song? I could give you a little bit of Hello, Patsy Fagan, if I could get a little bit of help from the orchestra. From the orchestra? You'll get very little help from this crowd. (laughs) What's the name of the song? Hello, Patsy Fagan. Hello, Patsy Fagan, is it? In the key of F. What's the key? In the key of F. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you can hear the girls all cry. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you're the apple of me eye. You're a distant boy from Ireland, there's no one can deny. You're a rarum, scarum, devil me, carum, a distant Irish boy. Now, if there's a lady present who'd like to marry me, I'll take her to that little isle across the ivy sea. I'll dress her up in satin and plays her all I can and let the people see that I'm a decent Irish man. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you can hear the girls all cry. Hello, Patsy Fagan, you're the apple of me eye. You're a decent boy from Ireland, there's no one can deny. You're a rarum, scarum, devil me carum, decent I. Very good. Thank you have you. a fine voice. Thank you very much. Fine Coach. personality, and I'm sure a lot of people are after you. Now <laughs> let's see if you can win some money. Huh? You have selected food and cooking. I'm going to ask you some questions. If you miss two in a row, you're through. If you get four in a row right, you win a thousand dollars. Now before you answer, talk it over. Huh? <laughs> what kind of a cooking utensil is a ramekin? R a m e k i n. Could you ask it in French? <laughs> It's spelled R-A-M-E-K-I-N. What kind of a cooking utensil is a R-A-M-E-K-I-N? If you don't know, guess. Would it be a kettle by any chance? Well, it's a bacon dish. I have never heard that word before again. No, you have one wrong. <laughs> what are condiments? C-O-N-D-I-M-E-N-T-S. Uh, seasoning? That's right, seasoning. No, you have one How right. I happen to know that. It's the same in French. <laughs> you have one right now. Okay. What are what are scallions? Spring onions. Uh, yes, that's, that's good. Spring nice. onions. <laughs> well, you're halfway to a thousand dollars. Two more right, you'll have a thousand dollars. Can you spring onions? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are petty fours? Petty four. Those are little uh, cookies. Yeah, I thought petty butter. fours would be about three. <laughs> no, that's right. They're small cakes. You have three right now. Get the next one right, mm. and you'll have a thousand dollars. Generally speaking. Women are generally speaking. That's no, that's wrong. <laughs> what are anise, uh, anise, hyssop, rue, and basil? They are uh, seasoning anise and herbs. Right, that's that's herbs. close enough. Yes. So you have four in a row correct, and you win one thousand dollars. <gasps> now listen. Hear this. You've won $1,000. You can keep it and quit, or else you can come back at the end of the show and try to double your money. You may even get a chance at 10000 So go over there and sit down and think about it. No matter what you decide to do, thanks for being on the show. In just a moment, our second couple will join Groucho to play You Bet Your Life. The Red Cross is on the job when you need it's your turn. The Red Cross needs you. There's a rule we've all been taught, so let's heed it. Do for others as you'd have them do for you. Whenever things get tough anywhere, the Red Cross is there to make them easier to bear. You can be sure that when you need them, they'll come. Ever 
Groucho, we have uh, two young ladies on deck who are waiting to talk to you, so we'll Lena Pereira and Mercedes Welcome White. to You Bet Your Life. Say the secret word, and you each get an extra $50. It's a common word, something you see every day. Lena Pereira and Mercedes White, eh? Mm-hmm. Now, which is... Uh, which she's is Mercedes, the... and she's Lena. You're Lena? You're not, though. You're fatter, aren't you? That's <laughs> <laughs> are, are you married, uh, Lena? Yeah, she's married. Uh, you're married. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is she. You're both married. Well, that's a shame. How, how do you know Mercedes is married? Well, she's well, my sister. She's, she's my, sister. my wedding. <laughs> you have very colorful names. Are you, are you uh, of Spanish extraction? No, Portuguese. No, we're Port- Portuguese. Portuguese. Uh-huh. Well, that's not much different. Isn't it? Well, well. Where are you from, Mercedes? I'm from we're from Martinez, California. We're both from Martinez. <laughs> You know, to even this up, there should be two of me up there. Huh? <laughs> Where is Artesia? Uh, about, oh, uh, it's about four miles five, from Norwalk. No. <laughs> She's wrong. It's four miles from Norwalk. Where is it? It's about uh, three miles from Norwalk, I think. Well, don't you live near each other? Yeah. About, well, sure. Yeah, about, about four blocks. Four blocks. How many blocks? <laughs> three. Four blocks. Well, that's a four block. Yeah. Well, could we settle to three and a half blocks? <laughs> well, well, I never... I said four. No, it's further now. Yeah. I moved. Well... I wish I knew which one it was I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, is, this is uh, Mercedes. This is Mercedes, and you're Artesia, Lena. Huh? Lena. Uh, Lena. Oh. How long have you been married, Lena? Uh, Thirteen. About twelve. Well, you'll no, be thirty. 30. <laughs> well, it'll be thirteen in November. Well, how about your husbands? Do they talk together, too, when they talk? Well, they talk mine's about... usually sleeping. They're usually working. They're working? I hope, sometimes, yeah. Not mine, you know. Work all mine's usually sleeping. Yours is out of work, too? No, no. he sleeps most oh. My husband's out of work. <laughs> My husband's out of work. Has he always been out of work? No, but he's a hard-working man. But he, yeah. he isn't working? Not right now. How did you meet your husband, Lena? Met I met him dance. at a Portuguese dance. The Portuguese dance? Uh-huh. Where we have uh, the celebrations and... Sometimes they have wedding dances. And, and you were 12 then? No. No, I was uh, about, well, no, when well, I was about 14. About 14. <laughs> How old were you? When I, when I met my husband? Yeah, when about you 14. went to this dance. Huh? Oh, when I, well, I was about 14 when we started going. Oh. Well, how much later did you marry this fellow who was about, well, about three months, months after I met him? Two months, three months. No, no it was about three months. No, about two months. <laughs> you it certainly move fast, months. don't you, huh? Yeah. You didn't waste any time getting engaged after that dance, did he you? He did it. He didn't. He Why didn't. was that? Well, uh, he wouldn't be allowed to be in the house if he, uh, we weren't engaged. He couldn't, he couldn't come, know, over. come over. Couldn't come in the no, house at all? Uh, no. No, he, he had to be engaged, engaged just to come in the house? Yes, well, no, he... Is this From a Portugal country. custom? Mm, yes, well, it is. Some of them. Yeah. yeah. Not all of them. Are the old timers. Yeah. The old timers. Yeah. But you don't going to apply this to your children, huh? Well, in the same, same five old yeah. or not. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. talk it over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's a good idea. Talk it over and let me know what your... <laughs> let me know what your final decision is. That's all. <laughs> Well, what have you decided upon? Huh? We don't know yet. Don't, know yet. don't, don't give any snap opinions. We don't know yet. Everything's changed. Mind you, nine change. and first. You know how yeah. things go. They change. We have to go maybe and change a little one bit. One is eleven. But, yeah, so far, we don't know. The only thing permanent has changed. One change. and uh, she got one that's eight. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know that, don't you? What? What? That's, uh, that's what uh, Schopenhauer said. The only thing permanent has changed. <laughs> change, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means, uh, well, that makes three of us don't know what we're talking about. Well, let's cut out the chat and see if you can win some dough. Are you good on songs? Uh, not on lyrics, but on songs. On, on popular songs. Well, yeah. these are familiar lyrics from famous songs. I'll give you a line from the lyrics. You give me the title of the song. If you miss two in a row, you're Futch. Yeah. If you well, get four in a... Huh? Yeah, sorry. What we'll probably miss it, I said. Uh, Portuguese. What? Say what? Washed up. Lavada. If you miss two in a row, you're Lavada. Yeah. If you get four in a row right, you're in Lavada. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, potatoes are cheaper, tomatoes are cheaper. Now you tell me the title of the song. Poop, poop, doop. No, not no. poop, poop, a doop. 
Mm-hmm. Can I sing the uh, melody? Can you? Uh, that'd be easier. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Potatoes are cheaper. Tomatoes are cheaper. Uh. Next line. Now's the time to fall in love. Eddie Candace sang it for 80 years on the TV. Yeah. Now you have one wrong. Don't get the next one wrong or you're out of the game. You picked this category yourself, didn't you? Yeah, well, we wanted with songs. Now, come on. Now, get sharp, girls. Eliminate the negative. Latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In-Between. you got to accentuate the positive. Uh, that's good enough. That's good enough. Ah, you're on the right track. One right, three more to go for $1,000. All right. Can it be the trees that fill the breeze with rare and magic perfume? Louise? Oh, that's the one that... Bing, uh, that um... Then he sings. That miser, yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah. I'll sing that again. Can it be the trees that fill the breeze with rare and magic perfume? Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Love and bloom. No, no. Well, you're back to one wrong again. I get no kick from champagne. Flying so high with some gale in the sky is my so, idea of nothing to do. But. But there's always something to do. Mm-mm. No, I'm sorry. It's I, I get a kick out, out of you. you. Yeah. Oh. Well, girls, you came through with this with flying colors. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry you I didn't win because happen. you're such nice girls. Gee, but I'm going to give you one more question for a hundred smackers. Good. All right? Yeah. I'll ask you one question. And I don't want you to help either, because this is a toughie. Who was buried in Grant's tomb? Grant. Admiral Grant is right. (laughs) Thanks. I'm sorry you didn't win more. You're real cute. And thanks for being with us. You bet your life. Thanks. We'll find out if our first contestants will try for the double chance at five or $10,000 in just a moment. Suddenly, an oppressive silence closed in about them. The glittering lake lost its enchantment. Their secret cove became their prison. And the prospect of facing the future alone together had become a terrifying one indeed. This is Ed Hurleyhee, your host on My True Story. Tomorrow, you'll hear the drama of two young people for whom a dream had come true. But, as dreams sometimes will, theirs had taken on a grotesque and nightmare-like quality and they felt themselves doomed to live out their lives in the silent, empty world they had worked so hard to create. You'll want to be listening to this compelling drama tomorrow on My True Story. My True Story brings you a complete hour-long drama every weekday on NBC. So enjoy My True Story and stay tuned throughout the day for all the other fine programs, the drama, the music, the news, the rich variety of entertainment and information brought to you over these same NBC stations. find out the decision on the big money tonight. Uh, Giselle Dark and Danny Terrell, would you come on, please? Well, how'd you do? You do, Fletcher. You won $1,000. If you decide to try for the 10000 you fail, you wind up with a total of 500 What are you going to do? I would like to, to ask my husband. I think he's in the audience. Could I do that? Well, shout out and see what he says. I don't know where he is. All right, well, the husband stand up. Oh, <laughs> what do you want her to do? It's okay with me. You ought to try. You ought to try. Big deal. He's sitting out there. <laughs> what has he got to lose? Just you, that's all. All right, what about you? Have you got a husband out front? No. You got a wife out front? <laughs> no, but I got a wee wife at home, girl. Yes, so uh, what are you going to do? I promised her if I'd get this far that she and the little boy could go home and see her uncle who is not too well at the moment in Canada. Oh. And I think their their visit with him would uh, help him immensely. Oh. Uh, and you're just going so to keep I'm, the money, yeah? Rather than jeopardize her chance. Yeah. All right. Yes, he has $500. Now, you're going for the big swag. You're a big hero out front. <laughs> you has... better have me do my decision. Yes. <laughs> hey, you better not come home tonight, huh? <laughs> All right, think of a number between one and ten. Talk out loud. Mm. Nine. Nine? Well, give the wheel a spin. Nine, 
9 and Atlanta on 8. 9? I know that. I just wanted to see if they were watching. <laughs> the number was 9 and Atlanta on 9. So this question is why $5,000. You ready? One of the few emperors left in the world today claims imperial descent from King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. For $5,000, what is the name of this emperor? Take your time and think of it. What's the answer? If you don't know, guess. No answer? Okay. It was Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. I'm sorry you missed it, but you wound up with $250, but you had a chance at $5,000. I think your husband was right. Congratulations, and thanks Thank for being with us. Thank you very much. The Best of Groucho is transcribed in Hollywood, produced by John Goodell, directed by Robert Dwan and Bernie Smith, music by Jack Meekin. Be sure to tune in again next week, same time, same station, when Groucho begins his new fall series of You Bet Your Life. The Best of Groucho is heard by our armed forces around the world. Rock Hudson and Janet Lee join Frank Blair and Don Russell on its network time tomorrow on most of these NBC stations.